Hi, and welcome back to another Amazon selling video. My name is Nikki Kirk, and I've been doing retail arbitrage selling on Amazon for six years now, and it is absolutely awesome. I've enjoyed it so much and just like it's changed my life so completely that I have been telling, helping other sellers get started, helping them get ungated, helping them grow their businesses through the Bolo group and all of that stuff for the last three years. It's kind of crazy that it's been three years. Um, but that has just been so much fun through both my free YouTube content and then my paid courses and ungating guides. So if you want to check out any of that, of course, you can subscribe to this free YouTube channel. Or if you want my help getting started step by step, I have the beginner FBA training course or I have the ungating guides, which again, walk you through step by step how to get ungated for Amazon selling. Okay, so now this video I wanted to do, I've wanted to do it for quite a while and I finally sat down to do it. Everything that Amazon selling is not. There's a lot of stuff out there and maybe you found this video and this is your first time to my channel. Welcome if it is. But there's a lot of things that Amazon selling is not and I think it really will help you get a better perspective on what Amazon selling is by understanding what it is not. I've got four things that Amazon selling is not that I will walk you through and then of course what it is. So the model I do is retail arbitrage and online arbitrage, same thing, different space of where you're sourcing. So retail arbitrage, I'm actually going into stores, I'm sourcing products at stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Walmart, Home Goods, Ollie's, Grocery Outlet, Ross's Express, Roses, sorry, Roses Express, Ross, Roses Discount. There's so many stores. Basically, if there's a store, a grocery store, if it has products, you can scan and find items to sell on Amazon that make a profit. That's retail arbitrage. Online arbitrage, same exact thing, only you're doing it online. So you can source online at home or if you have a job where you have an hour at lunch, you can source on your job, like whatever it is, whenever you can do it, that's online. So that's the model I do. Now there's a ton of different models out there for selling on Amazon. There's private label where you're gonna go to market, you're gonna find a product, buy it, or make it, whatever that entails, and then you are gonna sell it under your brand on Amazon. There's also wholesale, basically the same thing I'm doing, only you're sourcing from wholesalers direct. And I'm pretty sure that might be it, but I'm sure there's other models out there. There's like so many ways to sell on Amazon. Uh, there's ways like if you have a website, but you don't have a warehouse and you want Amazon to warehouse and ship your stuff, still it's under your website. It's not even sold on amazon.com, it's sold on your, your website and then they ship everything out for you. There's like, again, so many different models to selling on Amazon, but the one I do, again, retail arbitrage and online arbitrage. So what it is not, it is not a get rich quick thing. I have gotten so many emails over the years of people who are interested in selling on Amazon and they need money right now. They need money to pay their bills, to live their life, to feed, you know, their family, whatever it is. That is not something that you want to start doing Amazon to do. If that's your case, you're better off going and getting a nine to five job that you can pay your bills with and then starting Amazon as a side hustle to work your way up to it. You might not ever get rich selling on Amazon. In fact, I'm gonna venture that you won't ever get rich. But what you will get is income to do whatever it is that you need the income for. So over time, after you've built up your Amazon business, people start it as a side hustle. So they've got their nine to five job and they start Amazon and then maybe they wanna quit their nine to five because they don't like it or they start making more money on Amazon. Like whatever your future looks like, whatever you're trying to do, there's a good chance that Amazon can help you out with that but you're not gonna get rich doing it. When you start selling on Amazon, try and think of it like you're starting a business, first of all, but try and think of it as you're opening a retail store. Your customers are just everyone shopping on Amazon already, which is why it's good. It's just why it's an awesome place to sell because there's very little startup cost to it. But you very much are a retailer, so you are gonna have to source the products that you're gonna sell. You're gonna have to package them up either to send them to the customer, which is FBM, fulfilled by merchant, or as I like to call it, fulfilled by me or you can pack it up and send it to Amazon warehouses. That's fulfilled by Amazon FBA, which is what I primarily do because again, live in an RV. Oh, sorry, I don't think I said that. I live in an RV. And so because of that, I don't have a lot of room. So FBA has been awesome. And it's still the model that I do mostly, although I am mixing up FBM now. So you're a retailer, you've got your stuff, your inventory, you bought the stuff, and now you're gonna sell it to your customers. It's gonna take some time to get going and why I recommend not just like 
trying Amazon to pay your bills immediately, you might not ever see a payout from Amazon for four to six weeks. And when you do start to see your payouts off of stuff you've sold, you might have done a couple thousand dollars in your first month, which is awesome, but you're probably only gonna get $50, $100, $500 back from Amazon. And so you're not really gonna be able to pay your bills with that, right? You're probably just paying off the cost of goods that you already bought. So it takes a long time to get that snowball going, which is why I really recommend if you're a new seller starting out to not give up. If you really want this, don't give up for the first six months because it does take quite a while to get going. If you're familiar at all with like the debt snowball analogy where you're like paying off your little bill and then you go to the next bill, just snowball that out. It's very similar. You're gonna start really small returns. You can start with very little money, which is why it's awesome to sell on Amazon, but you're gonna have to invest a little bit of money. So you start with that small amount, you sell your stuff, you get it back, you're gonna get back the cost of goods and hopefully a profit off of that, but it's real small. Now you're gonna take that money you got back and you're gonna invest it into more inventory. That will sell, you'll get that back. And we're talking weeks, right? This is gonna take a couple weeks for all of this to happen and it'll slowly build up and snowball out. So I was able to turn a profit, pay myself back my initial startup cost, and then start pulling out a profit after five months of selling on Amazon because I started in August of 2017 and by December of 2017, so Q4, holiday season when it's the best time to be selling on Amazon, but because of that, I was able to pay myself uh, a little faster than normal, say if you start in January, February, March, it might just take a little bit longer, but who knows, you might find that awesome product and it's gonna make profit for you and sell, and hopefully it's a replenishable. So if you can just get that one thing out of this video, it is not anything that's going to get you rich, probably ever, but it is gonna give you the flexibility that you maybe need in your life, the second income that maybe you need in your life, like whatever it is that you need uh, or want to do this for, it can do that, but it's not gonna get you rich. Along that same note, I wanna make this very clear, it is not free. So for whatever reason, there's some videos out there, I guess, because people have told me this in real life. I've met people um, like throughout my journey, just you know, being around in Oklahoma, talking to people that they were like, oh my gosh, I just heard about this. Is it true that you can do it with no inventory? Like you don't have to have anything. No, not true. So what I'm thinking, because I'm not seeing these videos myself, is that people are talking about drop shipping, which is fine in maybe other areas, but it is against Amazon's terms. You cannot drop ship on Amazon. So what drop shipping is, is I'm gonna put something up on sale on a website, because you can't do it on Amazon. So on my own website, I'm gonna put something for sale, but I don't actually own the thing. When someone buys the thing, then I'm gonna order it and send it direct to the customer. Drop shipping is not allowed on Amazon. So I, to my knowledge, there is no model of selling on Amazon where you can start with no inventory. Like you don't have to buy anything to start. You have to have something to sell. So just, it's not free in that regard. However, it is super low cost. Like you can start, if you have $200, you can start selling on Amazon. You can start with whatever you have. I say like $1,000, if you have $1,000 that you can invest in your new business of selling on Amazon, that's a great start because you'll be able to buy inventory, you'll be able to buy all your supplies, and you can probably stretch that out for a while versus $200, which is totally fine and you can do that. It just might take a little bit longer to get that snowball going because like I mentioned, you're selling the stuff and then you're getting it back and then you're buying more. So the more you can get back profit because you had a lot of inventory in there selling, then the more you can snowball that and make it a little faster. So Amazon selling is not get rich and it is not free. The third thing that Amazon selling is not, is it's not easy. I know maybe I make it look really easy um, or your friends or your other sellers that you've heard of, YouTube videos, whatever you've been watching, hearing. It is like easy once you get the hang of it and you know what you're doing, but it is not by any means easy. It is work. You are going to work. So I go out, I source, I pack it all up, I send it to Amazon, I manage all my pricing uh, manually, I do not use a repricer. So I am managing my whole business it's not 
easy, right? Like I'm out there sourcing sometimes 12 hours, 14 hour days. You don't have to do that. If you're working a nine to five, then maybe you're sourcing on the weekends or you're sourcing, you know, after work at night, whenever you can do it, you're doing it, but it is work. And in the beginning, it's super frustrating. If you are a new seller and you're frustrated, you are right in line. You are on the course, you are in your lane and you are doing it. It is frustrating. It is so frustrating when you're scanning, trying to find things to buy, that you're gated in, that you're trying to just understand, does this make a profit? You make mistakes. And trust me when I tell you that mistakes are the best thing to do in your business because obviously you don't want to make them, but you learn from them. You learn so much by making mistakes. So don't be fearful of making mistakes. Embrace that you are 100% going to make mistakes and hopefully you're going to learn from them and learn what not to do. I sell part-time. I have always sold part-time. So if you're new to my channel, I have been to all 48 states in this RV. And so I was traveling. I was, you know, enjoying my life in the freedom, which is why I started selling on Amazon in the first place. So I didn't have to work a nine to five. Yes, I could find one and do it remote, but I don't want to be, have to be in a certain place. I don't want to have to be at my desk for certain hours or answering certain people, bosses, whatever. I wanted to have freedom, which is what Amazon provided. I want you to know that I do it part-time because during Q4, which is again, the holiday time frame, so it really kind of starts in September. So September, October, November, December, I am all Amazon like full-time seller. I'm outsourcing like three or four days a week. I'm packing up shipments. As soon as I have enough to send to Amazon, I'm sending those out. And it is so much fun because the sales make it so worth it. But the rest of the year, I source once a week, maybe every other week. I source a couple times a month. I send shipments in when I have the time or that I want to. Like you can have that flexibility in your life once you get the handle of it, especially if you're only going to sell one time of the year. I highly recommend Q4. But selling year round allows you that flexibility to do whatever you want with the rest of your life while you're making money selling on Amazon back to it not being easy. It's not really easy to say, sorry, parents, I can't go on that vacation because I don't know why you want to go in October, November, December. Like, I can't do these things because I'm all in on sourcing. So I'm saying no to things, but I'm saying yes to my business where the rest of the year, because I do part time, I can then say, okay, you know, I am going to take that vacation in, you know, March, February, whatever. And you can do those things because you have planned your life accordingly, if that makes sense. So Learning to sell on Amazon is very much like learning a language. So just like you're not going to know fluent Spanish or French or Italian right off the bat, you're going to have to slowly learn it and you have to take that approach to it. So you're going to be frustrated in the beginning. You're going to be learning things that you've never learned before. A lot of people who sell on Amazon, this is their very first time owning a business. So you are owning a business. So there's a lot of things to learn with that regard. However, it is totally worth it. Like I mentioned, all that flexibility, you get to set your hours. You don't have to sell a lot during Q4 if you don't want to. You can sell normal. It's totally up to you. It's your business. And the fourth thing that Amazon is not goes hand in hand. It is not passive. So retail arbitrage, online arbitrage is not passive. There are very few passive income things in life. And like real estate is one of them because it's just sitting there making money, hopefully. But Selling on Amazon is not passive. So if you hear anyone telling you that it is passive, question everything else they're telling because it's not passive. If you're not sending an inventory, you're probably not making sales. So you have to go out there and get the product and send it into Amazon. Uh, even with private label, you have to go source a product, make a product, send it to Amazon. There's so much research that goes into that. So you're not like it might end up being semi-passive or a lot like you might be able to work on it one day a week if you want to later on. But in the beginning, lots of hard work. Again, not easy. So just know that Amazon selling is not passive. But what it is, is it allows you to have that flexibility. So if you don't want to work, you don't have to work. If you don't want to work one week or you two weeks or a month, I didn't source all of June last year because I broke my leg. I literally couldn't. I did some online sourcing, but honestly, I was just kind of like, I couldn't do it. I was going to like take that as a sign to like just slow down and relax a little bit. And at the end of the day, it was good for me and it didn't hurt me that much because everything I had sourced in May 
really was still selling all through June and then in July when I was able to go sourcing again. So it really is, it allows you that flexibility. So if you want to grow it to where your kids can start helping you one day, or if you want to grow it to where your spouse or your partner can start helping you or take it off, like it, the possibilities are endless. I've been selling six years and I feel like I'm just now starting to really grow my business even more. And it's exciting. I will not stop selling on Amazon anytime soon because I absolutely love it. It is like going sourcing is like my stress relief now. Like it's my, I love, I've always loved shopping and now I get to do it and make money doing it. All the better. Selling on Amazon is absolutely worth it if it's something you want to do. It's going to take you time. It's going to be frustrating. You're going to have to go through that learning curve just like every other new seller, new business owner, but it's absolutely worth it. If you're watching this video and it's a couple videos that you've already seen and you've been questioning it, mm, should I do it? Should I not do it? Take this as your sign to just start. You can start small. You could start with what you have, but just start because you learn so much by selling on Amazon by doing it. The more you do it, the more you're going to understand it and the more hopefully fun it's going to be for you, just like it's a lot of fun for me. So Amazon selling is not get rich quick. It is not free. It is not passive income and it is not easy. It might become easier eventually, but it will always be frustrating. Let me tell you, because everything is Amazon is crazy. Different things happen all the time. And since we're selling on Amazon, we have to navigate that roller coaster with them. But it is a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. And I enjoy being able to pull out an income and make money by selling on Amazon. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you are ready to start selling on Amazon, if you've already started selling, or let me know what year you started. It's exciting to see just who's out there watching these videos. If there's any other video ideas or something that you want me to make or that you'd like to see about selling on Amazon, please don't hesitate to comment below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you back here for another Amazon selling video.